Hello everybody, amazing timing. They, uh, they started three minutes early, but I just checked three minutes early for no apparent reason and caught them amazing. We've got Call Troop with his Humans versus Moomin Slayer with his Black Orcs. Let's see what their colours are. Pretty hard to distinguish, let's see, leave them red and blue. Uh, Call Troop is unfortunately the bottom of the division here. He's got a draw and three losses. Uh, Moomin Slayer has a win and three losses. So if Moomin Slayer wins this game, sorry, two losses, so they've only played three games, these guys. Sorry, I do apologize. Disregard, errata, errata. Uh, one win and two losses versus one draw and two losses. So if Moomin Slayer wins this, he'll be on two wins and two losses, and he will have a chance to qualify if he wins his final game versus Strider. So Moomin Slayer has qualification to play for, Call Troop has pride to play for, you know, of course, you'd imagine everyone will give their, their all in every game. I shall, I shall, you know, when I roll the week, I shall remind everybody to, to give their all for the integrity of the competition. I'm, I'm sure these guys don't need reminding of that because they are all good at Blood Bowl. But still, do you know what I mean? It's, you know, you do have to give your all, don't you? Even even when it doesn't matter. Um, Cold Troops' hopes and dreams of winning this have gone. But, uh, you know, you can, it's still, and plus it's good practice, isn't it? You know, there's a good, good quality opponent with uh, Euro Bowl style teams. So it's a, I think it's a great format, and you know, like, I mean, I didn't invent it, right? I, <laughs> it's, it's the Eurobowl format. It's, uh, I think it's good practice. So we've got uh, Moomin Slayer spent four skills to stack dirty player sneaky kit on this goblin. It was rubbish versus the orcs, the two orcs that he played, he lost. But it was amazing versus Inarian, the game that he won. Actually, it was, it was pretty decent versus me. He didn't do a lot of Kaz versus me. But um, the problem is he couldn't get that many fouls off, right? Because he was bullied by the orc strength. He's not bullied by these humans unless they get lucky and start casting players. Uh, only three guard for Call Troop. I would have I would have gone five guard personally if I'd gone humans. But I understand only going three and having a bit utility. Mighty Blow and Tackle in this case. Block on the Ogre in uh, Christopher's case. So, yep. Um, it's impressive that you managed to show up. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, I'm sure I'm sure the people who were eliminated will give their all. You know, like Inarian tried the one turn versus me, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? It's like, you, you know, you've got to. Like, you, you, ha you, you owe it to everybody and the competition and yourself to try your hardest every game. Um, so this this is he's made of a bit of a perivale cage here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a gaping hole here. And the sideline's kind of open as well, so this isn't ideal. Maybe he's going to move another catcher up, but then he's got no one near the ball. So I don't really... I guess orcs are, the Black Orcs are so slow, this would be a GF out of bits of anyway. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, I like that more. Yeah. Good. And uh, a stupid Ogre isn't that bad here. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Oh, glorious. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hello, Jim. Happy Friday. Great to see you enjoying good BB, but thanks for streaming the other BB too. Truly oh. the best, most fantastic commentator, Tanks. Oh, Tanks, Keith. What a Kaz huge regen works, but oh my god, that's really... That's uh, really put Moomin Slayer on the back front this drive. Uh, it's easy to tell the catchers because they've got, both got block. What isn't easy to tell is which one is the thrower because he also has block. But should don't need the skill rings for this game, so that's good. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, Keith. Staying fantastic for nine glorious months. Over two whole beaver pregnancies. Glorious. Um, ah, thanks very much. That's, that was lovely, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love Battle Brothers. I love Battle Brothers. I quite like the Battle Brothers stream with Dimmy on. I, f I felt like Dimmy asking questions improved improved the streamability of it a lot. Maybe as if I tried to stream Battle Brothers, I'll hope people join and, and ask questions and stuff. Because you know, I thought I thought Fatin completely unbiased, of course, but uh, I thought Fatin was the best. Uh, Battle Brothers streaming, or better than the people who were like, you know, better at the game than him, if you like. Um, which is a weird thing to measure anyway, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, the people who were like bigger Battle Brothers streamers, um, I thought Fighting was the best, and you know, maybe maybe because he's a school teacher, but uh, I thought his talking of, through of everything was was great. Oh my god, that'd be amazing, J5. <laughs> um, 
so yeah whereas you know so normally i just normally when i'm streaming battle brothers it's because i like playing battle brothers and i just play battle brothers and don't really say anything um but yes with dimmy on i was saying things which i thought was better <laughs> Is it better to say things while you're streaming? Oh my god, he can, uh... You could be greedy here, right? He could be really greedy and one... Oh, no, he's blitzing. Okay, so he's blitzing to get the mighty blow hit with block. He could have been really greedy, right? And one d this guy. And then he could have, uh... Blitzed the dirty player sneaky get with tackle if, if it was a power. <laughs> that would have been incredible. That would have been maximum greed play. Um, and it might have been the winning player, but I, you know, I guess he's going to hope to have him on the back foot enough, um, having taken out the troll. Uh, I, I pretty much quit as soon as you left, Dimmy. <laughs> yep. It's got to be, he's a bit risky now, the, the ogre, right? This, this ogre, I don't think he can hit with the ogre now, I think it's too risky. And now he can't assist this block either. Oh no, he's just out of range from these, isn't he? You can still get based. Oh, I mean, I would definitely base him here. If he assists this. Oh, you're right. I'm 100% I'm basing this guy. Million percent basing this guy. And I guess with that 1D. But this is still... That's like... if This was a really risky... If that was a bonehead... Nah, it's, it's just about covered, isn't it? This, this catcher covered it. Yeah, this catcher covered it. Okay. So it's just he's just get definitely getting the ball based right, 100% on double G if I to base the ball, and then slam in the biggins. They're not biggins, they're black oaks. Try and slam in the black oaks in other places. Problem is he'll just dodge away or he'll blitz back. But you're so slow, like you can't really do anything. Boner re-roll that he could have done. The boner re-roll. Are you working, Dimrath? Good, yeah, yeah. Hello, Steve. So blitzing the blitzing the ogre isn't too effective, is it? Because he hasn't got anything out in front still. So he's just offered this guy up as a mighty blow blitz and a continued progression down the side. Still no no dirty player fouls. This is the problem with sneaky get dirty player, right? He got he got on top versus Inari and were hey and then stayed on top. Whereas he's just been instant back foot with that troll removal. And probably going to stay mostly on the back foot this drive. Fix. Tick skull. Yep. Hello, Galencho. Oh, by the way, Galencho. Um, people were saying Goblin Spy is down. Does your Nuffle.xyz, you can, you can link it if you want. Um, does that... Is that just coming straight from Cyanide rather than coming from Goblin Spire? Like, will, will yours be unaffected by that? Or is his problems your problems as well, or what? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> ah, interesting. So, that, yeah, obviously, Tackle Blitz on the Gobble there. And then a 2D. Ah, right. Ah, Goblin Spire's back up. Please. No, right, thank you very much, Dionysus. Yeah, I, heard, I saw people talking about Goblin Spy and I thought, ooh, I wonder how that, you know, pertains to uh, Nuffle XYZ. Because it's pretty cool having the, uh, having that for Chalice, etc., isn't it? Very cool, in fact. Well, not cool, you know. <laughs> Obviously not cool, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that, a 1 in 81. And he's stunned, but he is covered. He is covered by the other players, right? If he pal... No, he's not. Errata, errata. And he could chain this guy, right? Goblin could GFI and he could chain this guy one forward and he could go one, two, three, four, double GFI hit. Oh, I'm so good at Blood Bowl. Flip me. 
We've got a block hit on the ball here. No, oh, no, no, you got, oh no! Oh no, yeah, yeah, grab, 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 no! <laughs> oh no, 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 grab is not good, grab is not good. No, no, he had to, he had to grab him back and then punch him with him or just power. He probably had to re-roll for the pow. He's got four re-rolls. He probably had to re-roll for the pow there. Pow, don't follow. Pow, don't follow was the play. GFI with him, plug him in. He blocks, chains him forward. He could block and chain him again. No, he could just block to try and pound. So you'd have two chances. Oh, in fact, he can just grab him away as well. <gasps> it was such a good play because he, he could have chained him there. And then he, this one, if it was just a push, he wouldn't even have to knock him down. He could just grab him. And then you would have had 2D on the ball. But you know, this is okay. Grab would have been good for this particular situation. But yeah, that would have been amazing if he changed him. But he's just going to double GFI to base, which is okay, isn't it? I'd rather double GFI smashed him in the face. <laughs> this is a collapse now for Cold Troop, isn't it? That stun on the Ogre actually becomes massive. You've obviously got to base this catcher here from behind. Way. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a problem, apart from the double GFI score, right? Apart from just the double GFI score, which is probably what he goes for. Which, you know, might get you, uh, might get you the 2-1 grind for Moomin Slayer. But I, I feel like my play of hitting the ball was better. But I don't want to keep going on about it, but, you know, I think... I think this is good, right? You've got the like this. Is, this makes it impossible for him to stall. Completely impossible for him to stall. Oh, the one D. He has to do the one D to clear. He didn't have to, right? He could have. He could have dodged this guy. So the one D makes it a one in thirty six to clear. Oh, no, it's not. It's not actually because you, you get the board down. So actually, you're be you're probably better off just dodging and making it a two D. Then you're more likely to hold your re roll and. Um, and just get it first time. And now he's got a double GFI. Yeah, he probably just had to dodge. The catcher. He's not scoring. He's not scoring. <sighs> I guess because he got the stun. Oh my god, gets a Kaz. Flip me. Yeah, the, the, the Super League's been predominantly uh, evenings, hasn't it? But uh, we've played early. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, the problem is he's just he's just got goblins back, hasn't he? Like he he did have a couple of guys covering, but they were goblins, and one's just being cast. You can't free either of these two. Can't free him. Can't free him. Can't free him. He could just make a million GFIs and two D with the with the sneaky get DP. I wouldn't hate it, right? Two dodgers. And a GFI, and another GFI, and then 2D. Yeah, so do the first GFI first, so you've based him. I think you've just got, I mean, you could make these blocks first. The problem is then, what if you're one in nine, right? You're gonna feel really stupid if you're one in nine. But then, oh, okay, so he's doing this. I don't like this as much. So now, now you're committed to the double GFI blitz and you've got no recovery afterwards, right? But he's going for the crowd scatter as well. Mm. If you're going to do that, oh wow, he's lucky. Lucky, amazingly lucky, incredibly lucky. If you're going to do that, I think assisting from here and then pushing to there is better, right, if you pow. Uh, but I guess this way he's thinking if he pushes, he's got two goblins on him, which is, which is valid, to be fair. That's pretty good, right? It's pretty good, actually, if you push. So his way was better if you push. But I'm re-rolling for a power, and I just hope I get the power, I think. But, um, yeah, stunning the scatter is amazing. It's a power here. He can, uh, actually, I think he shouldn't have followed, right? And then he could have blocked him and grabbed him over there, and then everyone's dominated by Garn. Which I quite like. Oh, he just skulls himself. Re-rolls the skull. Both down. Mm. Stuns him again! <laughs> wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I, I would have, I would have liked, I would have liked blitzing with a dirty player, right? Like put him there, and then blitz with a DP from here, right? So then you're going like one, two, third square hitting him, and then you could push him to the sideline, so he'd have still been like, you know, nearly as good on the sideline. Off your palm, you push him to there, and then you could have picked up the ball as well. But I mean, this has worked amazingly well for him. This has worked out amazingly well for Moomin Slayer. Like, they both had pros and cons. Um, I'm not saying, you know, that my way was correct and his was incorrect, just that we we differed. But that's it, it's, it's just pros and cons, isn't it? It's really, it's really kind of impossible, I think, with the level of interest in the game, for people to be good enough to know which things are better, even though, you know, if we had a... Yeah, I, I I like the I like the catcher dodge out, two D, and then double G if I had to score. I thought there was no way to stall from here. Um, but there might be. Yeah, the dirty player only fouled. Dirty player could foul the uh, foul the thrower as well, right? So he can double GFI, blitz with the black orc there, obviously block this guy out of the way. And he could double GFI. I think double GFI blitz is, is worth it. Oh, look at that. The dice from Call Troop. I remember this. <laughs> the dodge GFI, GFI. You know, it's the sort of thing that Artemis would go mental about. But it's right. It's the right play, right? 3 2 2. It works. It. 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 You know, screws this guy out of doing that, and it, it was pretty likely to work, and it didn't really matter if it failed. So, yeah, I think that was definitely correct. Does the 1D blitz skulls? Yep. And now the stall looks amazing. <laughs> Easy stall. I, I much preferred, like, this guy blitzing, right? If this guy blitzes, he comes up. Then you stand him, then you just 2D with him or whatever, 2D with him, something like that. I think I think maybe he's just trying to consolidate, get a get a black orc in amongst this rather than trying for a greedy 1D. I think that was a bit greedy and incorrect. This is actually really nice because he gets to okay, so he powers. If he'd pushed him, he could have still cleared it, right? He could have he could have like chained his own guy away. He's gonna anyway. Yeah, Moomin Slayer had to try and free Black Orcs to uh, like stop the stall, right? I think I think that was more important than like he only had these shitty three goblins didn't need to try and do things with. Perfect eight turn stall. I mean, now he can stall for sure. He gets at least one turn of stalling. Though the troll, uh, the troll being regened means that we will we will get the the one turn chance for the. Uh, Black Hawks, whatever happens. So you've got to think who we can free, right? You can free this one. So you probably want to tag him, or at least screen versus him. Because he can block and grab, he can block and grab, and then this guy's free. But yeah, he should have been trying to do that previously. He should have really been trying to get his Black Hawks relevant. Maybe even dodging them right or blitzing with them and stuff. But like like this this blitz to assist that two D was way better, I think, than than what he tried. Yeah, now all of a sudden the humans are looking really good. Moomin's Slayer requires a win. A draw will see him eliminated. So um, he's going to have to like do a quick score in his offense if he doesn't get the one turn. He's already not freeing that guy.
which means he's not breaking the stall, is he? Yeah, he probably wasn't breaking the stall anyway, but now he's definitely not. He could have he could have run and blitzed him and still wasn't enough. He at least could have put more on. Not more on like Dimmy G. <laughs> not one word. <laughs> <laughs> More M O R E and then a second word on Dimmy isn't a moron of course but he's famously said am I a moron once which was hilarious I thought and that was super easy stall now the stall is a million percent confirmed One million percent. Do you know what might have been better that turn? You're like the uh, stand like him the up, football, Dimmy. dodge in, <laughs> uphill, force the score, give yourself a uh, two turn drive, or you know, a two turn chance. Maybe he thinks his, his one turn isn't that, you know, his two turn isn't that much more likely than his one turn, so doesn't bother. Am I a moron? Beaver. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Beaver. Beaver. Nearly four whool beavers. <laughs> Three and a bit. Beaver pregnancies. I don't know. <laughs> it was just literally one throwaway comment. <laughs> like months and months and months. Maybe even years ago. Has now moved it on to beavers, but there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fifteen glorious months of staying fantastic. Oh yeah. He's definitely not. He's definitely not even going to try and uh, penetrate this screen. Is he? he's just going to try and punch things? And you just get the two D. He gets a foul, right? Big, big gang foul on the mighty blow guy, right? Grab the mighty blow guy out. Yeah, it's a big, big foul here. You can make it 3D as well, right? Stand up the guard. In fact, the guard could have blitzed. The guard could have blitzed this guard. Ugh. Diced. So now you can 2D blitz him with him. Oh, that's, that's, that's actually brilliant, isn't it? Because these two are both guards. So he gets the power into there. One, two, three. GFI, so he's he's kind of protected. I would have done the foul before the block, right? In fact, don't GFI because you need two rerolls for the one turn. So you can't be protected. But yeah, huge foul. I would have done the foul before the block, right? In case you want in nine. Because you don't have to reroll it. And you need your two rerolls for the one turn. Double one on the armor. <laughs> Still breaks, not sent off. I don't know what the handoff was about at all. No idea. Literally no idea why I did that. I guess so that if he got uphill, he'd have dodge. He'd have bludge instead of just block, but... Uh, I guess that was what it was. I, I guess it was if he gets uphill. You know, probably count with the squares. And maybe like a goblin could have uphilled him. Whereas by handing it off to him, he got out of range. That could have been it, right? Like a goblin could have do dodged in and double uphill powered him, but he was just never gonna. He was never gonna. Certainly never gonna commit a reroll to it, and probably n not even try. Yeah, this was the bad thing. You are giving up this hit. If you if you made the GFI, you wouldn't have got hit. But I guess you are a thick skull, so it's not so bad to get hit. Okay, so perfect eight turn stall. 
<laughs> Why is this not straight, by the way? It's not, it's definitely not straight, is it? It's definitely higher up at that side. Why is it not straight? It's actually maddening. <laughs> it's actually maddening that this is not... Like, it's actually quite significantly not straight as well. That's crazy. Yeah, somebody mentioned it and I can't see it either. <laughs> somebody mentioned it the other day. I think it was Elion. And it's just, it's, it's horrendous. <laughs> yeah, that was probably it, yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't really work, right? And the fact you can just see an E to see, you, you, you can just E or Q to see behind things. Here we go. This, I was very clever benching benching one of the black orcs. So he's got more goblins to get the ball and stuff. What um what Moradam did, which was very clever, was put a goblin here so that if it's a bad kick, you can get it to, to him there, and then the troll can go back and, and throw him, right? But if it's a good kick, you can hand it off to this guy and go forward. So I really I really like that from Mori Moridam. I kick perfect, so it doesn't doesn't matter. So he gets to three D this guy to clear him. Only two Ds him. Um, who can say if that's definitely a million percent wrong or not? <laughs> Spoiler: It's definitely a million percent wrong. <laughs> 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 like you've literally already strength six. You've got a guard right here who's doing nothing. Make it three D for God's sake. Oh, bone reroll. Oh, does what? That was the loan. He fails the loan. Oh no. Oh no. This time he does get a three D. Glorious. No, I won't give in Glorious, until man. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Six beaver pregnancies of this nonsense and I'm still oh. hooked. Oh. Must be knitting with only one needle winking face. <laughs> oh dear. Glorious. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the the waviness. Yeah, the the wavy lines like here, right? That's okay. Like the fact that this is all wavy, that could be, you know, canonical, uh, you, you know, user error, right? If the groundsman could be bad, like the yeah, and like this, that's okay. Not going there, but it's actually the pitch is tilted, right? Which is which is tilting. Um, right, so there you go. Unlucky there from Moomin Slayer, not getting the shot. Um, but now, oh, the deep rule of five. Uh, Moomin Slayer's, uh, sorry, Coltrip's favourite. Moomin Slayer has to go for a short drive now. Because he has to win. And thank you very much, Martin Crew. Absolutely glorious. Knitting with only one... Uh, do you know what? I've only heard Knitting with only one needle from I'm Going Slightly Mad by Queen, which is a very good song, isn't it? There you go. Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious. Hello, Hargrath. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, it looks hilly. Yeah, it looks hilly. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, like, that, that could just be... You know, a shit groundsman, or it could actually be hilly, right? Like, I think it's okay, right? Like, it's a blood bowl pitch. Like, they're not meant to be kept to professional sports standards. That's why you can die in a GFI, right? Because, well, it made sense, right? Dying in a GFI or a rush now made sense in second ed, second ed because they played on astro granite and it was like fucking stone. And if you try and run on stone and fall over. You're gonna hurt yourself, right? A lot more than if you hurt yourself on fucking grass. And then once they made it grass, 
now that they're uh, now it kind of you know they've got spiky bits on the pitch right and like you know just hills and you know stones and holes and stuff in the pitch is kind of reasonable Yes, to Boomy. Yeah, it's, it's it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. So now here you might not want to make it three dice, right? Because you might want to. Uh, you might not want this goblin here or whatever, or you might not want. You might want somebody else there, or or certain things. Not making this a three. I mean, you, I think you should make this a three D, right? I think you should uh, move this goblin up here and make this a 3D. But it's completely reasonable to not make that 3D. But on the one turn, like, you have to make it a 3D on the one turn. You, you just absolutely, positively have to. Yeah, three or four. It's, it's not too bad, right? Scoring in four here is fine. Um... Like you, it's hard to score in three. You'd have to what, do double GFI, make max progression with Black Orcs out in front is not easy, especially as he's one D blitzing the ogre here instead of pushing forward harder. So getting the, like the secure penetration is very difficult. So I oh this is this is quite good actually right. This lets him go for the win easier if he gets the cas here. So I quite like that. Okay, all right. If this stays KO'd, it's giving him more win chances. Quite like that. Um, I would have definitely blitzed this guard guy, right, and stop him, stop him hitting the thing. But th this actually works out pretty well in terms of match equity. This could be this could be the correct play, like lower drive equity for bigger match equity, maybe. So that, that's an interesting that's an interesting decision. But the problem is now your you, your troll's getting knocked over, and he's blitzing a you know one of these two goblins or this big one and uh, black orc and things are going bad. Yeah, yeah. not surprised he's going for the DP sneaky good. It was clearly good seeing how it worked. Yeah, but like you can understand, right? Like, so the point is, you've 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 got to assess your your equity, right, in any given situation. And if he thinks, you know, if he just blitzes forward, yeah, okay, it's more likely to get the touchdown in three or four turns if he just blitzes forward. But then, is he going to be able to turn over call troop for the win? Probably not, right? Whereas if he if he makes it harder for himself to score in three or four, but removes the ogre. Then maybe that's the correct decision, isn't it? Maybe. This 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 can be good. You can you can put the goblin in here, and you can chain forward his guy onto him and like block and stuff, and then blitz. So you can smash this side and then move the goblin down here. So I think I think we're still looking at a four turn score. No, he hasn't done. Hasn't done that. Um. But we, you know, we could still just do it like this. We could see a four turn. I mean, we're definitely not seeing a three turn score now. Well, I think we're definitely not seeing a three turn score. Never say never. <laughs> I think he's just going to sideline K. This is very spicy. He's going to GFI sideline cage. I guess because he can just he can just like stunty dodge through everything, can't he? He can just make a bucket of stunty dodges to score. He's got four re rolls, so he really is going for the three turn score. Interesting. Oh, so he can brawl of this gets the power. Maybe he should have blocked with block first. Who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> And we can support his troll. And get another foul in. It's just a lino, he's got reserves. Maybe it's not worth fouling this lino, honestly. With so many reserves, it's probably not even worth fouling that lino. Yeah, well, for the win, he has to. He's, he's on two points. He can, he's got a chance to, to qualify from the group. If he wins the last two games. Mm. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, I, w I would, I would wish I'd picked anything except Black Orcs the second I picked Black Orcs, <laughs> personally. But you know, um, and Narian got fourth with them, didn't he, in the season two finals? So yeah, this is the problem with it. This guy here gives him the chain. Yeah, this was, this was not good by uh, Mimin Slayer. Yeah, literally any other team than Black Orcs, yeah. But, you know, look, Inarion got fourth in the, in the in the Season 2 playoffs, so who knows. If he gets the POW here, this is, uh, yeah, this is this is pretty much over now. Black Orcs are our favourite. And, uh, and, you know, Inarion finished fourth. Yeah, I, did, I didn't like this. Like, he did go all out for the three-turn score, but I feel like the chain into an extra block and a blitz and then go up the middle. Like, the problem is, you're, like, you're so slow, right? Black, your Black Oaks are so slow, it's really hard to get your Black Oaks up front defending your, your balls. You end up with, like, goblins there. But it would have been fine if it was just actually a sideline cage. But ha having this guy as the tool to unlock it was a uh, shit. Wow, he caught it. <laughs> you can dodge and be in a cage here. Probably just thinking about... I mean, you shouldn't think with it, really. You can just... Oh, he's jumping! He's fucking jumping! Yes! <laughs> what a lunatic! <laughs> oh, fuck yes! Double GFI and he's clear with the Black Hawks. Oh, diced. Double one the GFI. <laughs> oh, that was class. That was really great. I would have definitely just run back here and been in a cage. But that was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> it was, I mean, I'm sure it was better to dodge back here, right? You dodge back here, you're completely, you're in a fucking cage. <laughs> but this was hilarious <laughs> so fair play <laughs> fair play for doing the hilarious play <laughs> amazing absolutely amazing <laughs> Oh, brawler or team? Team reroll. Is he gonna foul him? No, he hasn't. He hasn't done it. I'd have totally fouled him. But so he got a double GFI to pick it up. Then he has to be a scoring threat, right? Maybe he like goes one, two, three, four, five, six over here, and makes a billion dodges. That's really hard. Yeah, it's really hard because he has to be like he's feeling it slip away now, isn't he? I don't know how he pins from here. I don't know how he does anything except, like, he maybe he can draw, right? Maybe he can draw, but I just, it's so hard to win. Like, even drawing is difficult. He's about to get the goblin and the black orc surfed. Power's okay. He can still surf him. He can still surf both. Well, not like that. <laughs> I guess, I guess, look, he's got to focus on, um, he's got to focus on the ball, eh? What a boring tit, <laughs> focusing on the ball. But yeah, I guess he's got to. <laughs> I see you've said a few things mocking equity J5, but it's right. Like it, it is right. That's all you can, you know. That's, that's that's all you can talk about, really. I 
Ah, no, because if I lost to Diomed, um, if I lose to Diomed, so that Strider, Moomin, and I are all on five points, then I would have, I've got a win and a loss. Moomin Slayer's got a win and a loss, and Strider's got a win and a loss. So we'd have a three. We'd know we'd have a three-way tie. We'd have a three-way tie on five. So yeah, he's still in with a chance with a draw, yeah. Yeah, he is in with a chance with a draw. Maybe he didn't have to go for maybe he didn't have to go crazy for the three turns for the win. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Oop for goal. Yeah, three would go TDs, yeah. Yeah. Let me flash up the table for you. Um, so obviously Strider would be on less than plus one. I'd be on less than plus one. And Moomin Slayer would be on more than... Would be on at least minus one. Hmm. So he could do it. I mean, he could have done it. He'd probably have to like beat Strider by two or something. But I don't think he's getting the draw. <laughs> like, I don't think he's getting the draw now. Right? Like, how is he getting the draw from here? So, but yeah, he could have... He didn't have to quite quite go as crazy as he did. He probably should have done the more sensible play of... Um, he probably should have done the, like, the... You know, not sensible. Not sen sensible is unfair. That is implying what he did wasn't sensible. The, the safer play of, like, taking the centre. Um, he could have chained a guy forward, blocked, blitzed, controlled the centre here... Two more turns to score. Score on turn four. And uh, then he's got four turns to try and turn him over and win. Oh! Okay, that was the way to do it. Grab him onto the ball and get a crazy throw in was actually the way for him to win. You can pick this up and long bomb it to this goblin who catches it in two tackle zones. Completely reasonable course of action. Two, two, four, six. He's only in one tackle zone because he can blitz. And was it the catcher that he blitzed as well? Yes, so there's no, the intercept is only a 6 plus instead of a 6 plus with a reroll. Oh, this is on. This is on. Oh, no! No, he's done the dodges. Done one dodge. He's got to reroll this. He can fail the pickup, but he had to re he had to reroll getting there. Yeah, so he didn't reroll the pickup. I think that was correct. I think he had to reroll getting there. Because at least now it's in a strength four players tackle zone, right? Errata, errata. Yeah, imagine if the, if the kick had gone that way. It could have been pretty good for him. So that was really nice. Nice use of grab. Well played, Moomin Slayer. <laughs> Black Oaks are the eternal fan favourite, aren't they? Because they're rubbish. <laughs> Basically. Oh! Instant fail. Reroll's gone. Does not skull. Just tagging people is strong, isn't it? Got a catcher here who can dodge away. Picks it up. Currently can free this Black Orc. But he can't reach him with him. The Troll can reach for a 3D Blitz. Let's go. Troll Blitz. The uh, vomit bug is fixed, so he would have to do a second GFI to hit with vomit. Is vomit better than trying to power him? Probably not with 3D, right? With 3D, you're looking at three one in threes rather than just an eight plus. It's about, I bet it's pretty close actually. Plus, with the, if the vomit works, 
Oh no, the vomit is you've got a two plus to use it, haven't you? So actually, the, I'm, I'm sure the I'm sure the uh, 3D is better. Vomit's worse, isn't it? Vomit's worse because you have to roll the two plus. Yeah, it was, I knew it'd be, it was really close without it. Yeah, it's definitely worse. It's definitely worse with, when you factor in the two plus. Oh, I hate this. Hate this. I'd have just gone for it. Like, okay, he gets a better push direction. Wait, what? Oh, he's just 2Ding with a goblin. Gets the pow! Has he got another GFI? He does, he can pick it up! He can fucking pick it up! He's rolled another one! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, this guy can dodge away and get into handoff range. One, two, three, four, five, six, handoff. I just have to dodge away and just punch first. You can just grab him. Yeah. Oh. I guess now he's just battling for a draw, isn't he? I'll still like putting him there for the handoff. Yeah. Yeah, the pukes were... But yeah, it would have been really close without the... Uh, if it didn't have to do a 2 plus, right? If it was stab, it would be really close. Because then with stab, you'd have to factor in, obviously, getting the push versus not getting the push and like how valuable actually pushing him would be. And uh, you'd have to factor that into your equation as well as just the, the sheer maths of... Uh, doing it. But yeah, having a 2 plus it makes it worse. Also, the fact that you just stun. The fact that it stuns if it works, right? If the, if the puke works, it's just an instant stun, which is incredible, right? Like 42% for a knockdown. Sorry, 40% for a knockdown or 42 for a stun, right? But even if they were the other way around, if it was 42 to knock him down, is that right? Whatever it is. It's only 40 with 3 dice. You're 30 with 2 dice, aren't you? Surely it's more than that. He's double scored! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is incredible. It's 42.13 without a team reroll. The 3D. <laughs> 42.13 and it's 41.667 the 8 plus stab so very very close <laughs> very close so if there was no 2 plus then the stab looks better because you just stun them, right? You would stun them instantly. So the stab would look better then, even though it's like 0.4 of a percent worse. <laughs> uh, a bit like Kate wins in Titanic. Yep. Um, I am going to honor any of my art commissions. I'm going to start, honestly. Are we going to throw the gob? Oh, yeah, maybe. Because he might still think that he has to win, right? Obviously, winning winning's a lot better. He doesn't have to. I think he is going to throw the goblin. Like, it's pretty sick, isn't it, throwing him? Yeah, I, I, I say throw him. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that was 
a great decision. Well done, Mumu. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah, I mean, it was really nice if he didn't eat him. <laughs> It's a double one. You've got to roll a one to try and eat him. Then he's got to roll a one to escape. So it was a one in 36 to get eaten. So he was very unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because he, he, he succeeded the loner, didn't he? The loner was a five. So he would have just made the dodge. He could have just made a dodge. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. Just eats him. Oh, another double skull. No, just a single skull. Flip me. That was, a, that was a catcher, so a single skull. So this goblin can still get the draw. Oh, man. So he blitzes this one. Lovely. And then 3D blocks this one. Oh, diced. Oh my god, I thought he was going to catch it then. I guess he just punches him again, and then he's just got to run away, right? So he can't get tagged. And he's in range, so he needs to go there. Wait, could he just get it himself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he could just pick it up himself this turn. He could just grab him to there. And then he could go he could go and pick it up and run away. Not terrible. That might be that might be the best, right? Because then it's just threes and twos. This is probably the best play actually, yeah. So 2D him, grab him to there. And then 3 2 2. Um, maybe no, yeah. Maybe up this way to stop him getting there. Oh, roll the one. What about this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so now you can pick up with a goblin and then throw him into the end zone and he lands in the end zone. There's still a chance. <laughs> There's still a chance. <laughs> <laughs> there is still somehow a chance. So yeah, so he does the foul. Correct play. Actual correct play. Cosmic. Um, he grabs him up to here. He grabs him. He fills the square. He bl then he blitzes this right. So this is the this is the player right here. Ready. Wrong player. He grabs him to there, so that this guy can do the blitz. He grabs him up to here, troll fills in. Then this guy would have double GFI blitz to chain this guy forward, who then double G can double GFI in for a touchdown. And then you would simply have to block him, pick it up on a five plus, dodge away, pass it to him, who catches it and scores. But it was possible to, to, to get a score there. <laughs> Ludicrously improbable, <laughs> but it was possible. <laughs> Definitely more goblins deaths than the last day of the Premier League as well. So there you go. That's a long time since I cared about the Premier League. And Newcastle are actually all right again now, aren't they? With all of the money, all of the money they have now. But it's not enough to get me interested. Well, yeah, Ami Orbi. Ami Orbi is when I was in bloody football. <laughs> Flip me, guys. Well, incredible performance by Cole Troop, you know. Like, kind of been cheering on Moomin Slayer a bit here, um, just because, you know, Black Hawks are the, are the underdogs, right? But, uh, <laughs> just randomly casts himself. Fair play to Cole Troop, you know, no longer um, has. No longer, no longer, first of all, no longer bottom, no longer winless. And actually, does he have a chance? Let's have a look. I think, I think he is definitely done right. Because even on three points, if he wins, 
he's lost versus me and he's lost versus Strider so his two losses so he's just you know his time his his head to head is done for him even if he wins the last game because he, he's lost versus me and Strider already so um, Cold Troop is out but he does go above Moomin Slayer and Inarion so uh, so fair play to Cold Troop he's currently in fourth um, so but he is eliminated yeah he is eliminated but um, you know congratulations for the result uh, had to do some had to do some you know daring plays and stuff and uh Commiserations to Moving Slayer, who with that loss is eliminated. So both players eliminated after that result, but you know, um, yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I'm just going to try and keep babbling, but there's no, re there's no need, is there? It's over. It's over. Say it's over. Um, congrats, Cold Troop. Commiserations, Moving Slayer. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.